Good evening adventurers. It's five o'clock in the evening. I'm at Chartley Springs. It's 24 degrees but there's quite a pleasant breeze up here. They've had the aerator going in the Albert and Alice. They've taken it out of the Doxford with it being a bigger lake. But I've come today predominantly on safari to catch tigers in either the Cuthbert where I'm at here now or the hangman's. I'm going to fish along these reeds close in because that's where they tend to hang out. There's quite a bit of weed. The water's a little bit coloured. A few dragonflies and things about. But I'm going to see if I can antagonise the tigers into taking a fly. I'm fishing on a dry fly with a great big hairy sponge black beetle. And about four foot under that dragon behind it, a green flash damsel with a yellow head. And I'm going to see if I can get them annoyed enough to take it. I mean, there's nothing moving at all, but you can generally get them to get annoyed, tigers being tigers. So, grrr, here we go. See how I fare. Well, I've come into this corner, into this bay, and I think what I've got on is a good tiger, by the feel of it. See if I can get him on the wheel. Keep the tight line on him. Right. Oh, he's off! No, he isn't. Is he? No, he isn't off. I thought he was off. Now, my net's along there. I'm sure it's a tiger. I'm sure it's a tiger. But I need to get him to the net. Come on, son. I need to lead him along. This is just typical, isn't it? He's taking the, the damsel. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. He's through a load of weed. Oh yes, son. It might be a rainbow. It's not fighting like a rainbow. It's fighting like a tiger. Right. It's a tiger. I said I'd come for tigers. And I knew exactly where to get that one? Oh, lovely. Now, that is golden. Look at the colour on that. Absolutely beautiful. That took the green flash damsel. Success! Safari success! I'll get him out the get the hook out and come back to it. He's a bit worn out. I'm gonna give him a bit of a chance to recover. He'll be four pounds, four and a half maybe. Beautiful, beautiful fish that stunning. Come on. Come on. I think you might need a... Ah, oh, he's putting yourself right there now, eh? Make sure he doesn't bite us. Set his teeth on him. Are you alright, my boy? Oh yes, he's alright now. Are you gonna go? Beautiful. What a top off our three points, that was. I'll go and catch his mate now. I think I might take my net with us this time. Well, I've fished the cuthbet out. I got that fish right down by that stone cross. I fished all the way around this bay. I fished all the way up that side. I fished the margins all the way around that side. So, no more takes. So I'm gonna go down on the hangman's and try me look down there and hope I don't get bothered by rainbows because it's really tigers I'm after. I am on safari after all. 
We're quite happy with what I've had in the first hour and a quarter. Well, there's absolutely nothing hanging on the hangman's. Uh, I've been pulling the pulling the same fly for a while, never had a touch. So I've gone on to a bung now with the dog's bollocks, the old faithful. There's two or three people here, but I haven't seen anybody catch a fish yet. Still a bit breezy, I'm hoping when the sun goes down a bit the breeze will drop. But there's a nice ripple right to left here that I can just swing the bung round into this bay. Even though I kind of see it for the sun, but uh, see if that works. Eh? Nothing rising, I've seen four fish rise out of every lake since I got here two hours ago. Well, nothing's touched the dog's bollocks at all, but there's like just an odd fish rising. So I've changed tack. I've put a uh, shipman's on, size 16, little shipman's hopper, and a green juzzer on the dropper to pull the leader down, sink it. And I'm just going to see if I can rise anything, because there is one or two starting to rise, now the sun's starting to drop. So I shall try that. Other than that, I haven't had a touch on the dog's bollocks, not one knock. Well, it's 8.30 now. And I should have gone home at 5.30 after I'd got that tiger. I might as well have done because I've never had a touch. I've pulled damsels, I've pulled dries, I'm on dries now with a buzzer. There's a very, very odd fish topping, but like, as you can see, very, very few. That's the same one just came up twice. The sun's just about to go down and I'm hoping in the last half an hour I'm here that they might come on. There's no fly life, right? You'd think there would be after a hot day like the day, but it's actually a cold wind, so like it might have cooled the water a bit. But there are one or two starting to rise, so as soon as that sun goes down, you never know. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed before this camera goes off tonight, I'll get at least one more fish. Well, guys and girls, the sun has just gone down behind that hill over there. There's a couple of fish rising, but nothing anywhere near my fly. And I think as the sun sets, so does my chances of catching another fish tonight. How on earth I caught that tiger on a day this dead, I'll never know. But I'm still happy because it was a lovely, lovely golden tiger. Beautiful fish. So unless anything happens in the next five minutes, I'm going to go home and say goodnight to these geese and see you next time, which will probably be here, I would imagine, or I fancy they up with CLD for the carp, I don't know, we'll just have to see what life brings and what Covid brings. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed my very short video with one fish on, we'll see you next time, bye for now.